Alright, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to color my whipped cream to use it uh, for cake decoration. I have my red here and a popsicle stick. I need more red, I need some black, and I need some orange. And get a gob of it on the end of your stick. Just kind of swirl it in. This is whipped cream, so you don't want to just mash at it. You want to just kind of fold it in. Red is a very, very hard color to take. I might just need to dip a little more in here. Now, be very careful you don't re-dip the stick that you're stirring with because you don't want to contaminate your liquid gel or your paste. So. Now, also, when you're adding colors to icing or to whipped cream, you want to just let it sit before you use it to maximize the intensity of the color that you're going to get and make sure if you want a more intense red say that the the red has time to sit in you can see how dark it's going to be dark purple dark blue they all take a few minutes to to set and become really true to their color I think I need a little bit more in there There's a nice intense red forming. Alright, that looks like it's going to look good. It's just going to need some time to set in. So I'm going to cover this and stick it in the fridge. This is whipped cream, so you want to keep it very cold. Chill it down in between your, your phases there. Orange is red and yellow together. Get a little bit more red in this one. There we go. So I have this liquid gel here. A little bit of red. Got some yellow. Now with the colors, if you want to make a color in your icing, it helps to blend the two together a little bit first. Then you get more of a true color. You'll see what I'm talking about here. You want to have swirls of one color on one side and the other color on the other. I do have an orange gel, but rather than opening it, I just mixed red and yellow. A little drop of yellow in there. Make it vibrant. There we go. It's a very vibrant orange. I don't need a whole lot. I'm just doing little accents with this, so I only need a little bit. I need some black to do some writing with. Black is a very, very hard color to, to get dark and true. Normally what I do when I need black is I'll make a small batch of black icing and then just keep it in the freezer pull out a teaspoon or so when I need it for accents, writing, whatever, let it thaw out before I use it. Whipped cream definitely carries the black color a lot better. It's awesome. I'm 
And you also want to remember to keep these closed because they will dry out. We've got some black. Ooh, got some orange, and that's looking really great. And the red. So I'm just going to cover these, set them in the fridge, let them set a little bit. You want to be careful you don't get any on your fingers because it is really hard to get out of your skin, off your hands, off your clothing. So make sure you're wearing your apron, you've got a you know, dishcloth around to wipe up your spills with. So there you go, that's how you use colors to color your whipped cream. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next decorating video.